In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to install custom screensavers on your Kindle device. Now please note that this tutorial will not work on the Kindle 3 with the special offers and the screensaver ads. Okay, uh, so let's get started by opening up a web browser and doing a search for Kindle 3 jailbreak. And then select one of the links that contains the downloads that we need. I'll provide a link in the description to a guaranteed download site. So we're going to need a Kindle a jailbreak file. And go ahead and extract this. And we're also going to need the Kindle SS file. The Kindle jailbreak is obviously the jailbreak we need to open up the Kindle device. And the Kindle SS contains the custom screensaver software we need to install uh, the screensavers. These files are in the form of patches that we will use to update our Kindle device. And there is a nomenclature uh, with all these files. Uh, select the patch that corresponds to your uh, working device and here is uh, the names that goes with the names of the files. Uh, I'm going to be using a Kindle 3G, so I will select the one that has the extension K3G in the files. And to make this easier, I'm going to open up the folder and just pull out the install and uninstall.binary files that correspond to my Kindle onto my desktop. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to proceed to add the patches to our device. So go ahead and plug in your Kindle and drag the update jailbreak file to the root of the Kindle directory. And once you have that, uh, unplug the Kindle, go to menu, and scroll down to settings. And then click menu again when you're in settings and select update your Kindle and select OK. The Kindle will be updated using the patch that's in your root directory and then your Kindle will restart. Once you have done that, uh, go ahead and plug your Kindle back into your computer and then drag the update uh, Kindle SS file to install uh, the screensaver mod. And then we're going to go back and we're going to proceed to the same process uh, going to settings, menu, and then update your Kindle again. And then it's going to repeat the process and restart the Kindle device. Okay, while we're doing that, we're going to proceed to create some custom screensavers. Now I'll demonstrate how to do this. Uh, you can do this in any image editing program like Paint, GIMP, or Photoshop. But whichever program you use, go into Settings, and set the width and height to 600 by 800, and set the colors to black and white, and it gives you the option to set it to grayscale as well. And I'm just going to create a very simple uh, screensaver. There are also many screensavers available for download on the internet if you're interested. So once you are finished creating your uh, custom screensaver, go ahead and save it as a PNG file. And once you save it as a PNG file, uh, we're going to proceed to add the screensaver to our device. And you can do that by going into Kindle, Link SS, Screensavers. Note there will also be a default a screensaver in there and you can get rid of that. And also, the old screensavers, the original ones, are stored in a folder called Backup. So if you want to use any of the old uh, Kindle screensavers, you can find them there. And once you have added uh, the screensavers, go ahead and go to Settings, Menu, and Restart. If you don't do this, the new 
uh, screensavers will not take effect. But once you restart your Kindle, you will see your custom screensavers installed. So here's a demonstration. And please note, you can have multiple screensavers, even though I'm only showing one, and they will flip through in a random arrangement. Just like with the original screensavers. And also, uh, some extra things to note. Uh, again, uh, the Kindle with special offers, the $114 version will not work for this tutorial. I think it's kind of dishonest to remove the ads. Um, you can have multiple screensavers, like I said before. And to uninstall, um, just update the Kindle using the uninstall files that are also provided. And also, again, the original screensavers can be found under backups. And that is it for this tutorial. Uh, for more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com.